Hi everyone, welcome to Nourish Technologies. This is Srinivas. So, in this session, we are going to discuss so one C technical interview question on recursion. See, here it is the code. So, in this program, so we are using the concept of recursion. So, first of all, what is recursion? Recursion means the function calling itself. So, like so we are calling the function from the definition of a same function is called a recursive function. And how recursive function executes means what with the help of this example, so you will understand and parallelly we can see the output of this program also. So, first of all C program execution starts from the main function. So, first first to that main is a memory will be allocated in the stack area. In the stack area here inside we are calling A B C of 3, so, we are calling A B C of 3. So, next memory will be allocated to this function A B C and here it is we are passing the value parameter is a 3. So, A B C gets memory allocation A B C and here it is the value we are collecting into variable A. So, A value is 3 it will call this one. So, now execution of this A B C function here it is the first one so, we are printing that A value. So, parallelly so, I am writing that output of this program also output here it is in the a b c function what is the first statement is printing a value here is printing a value. So, what is that a value is 3. So, it will print 3 and next here so it will check one condition if a if this condition is a true is we are calling a b c function by passing the value a minus 1 here it is a if a if a value is 3 is the condition true or false the condition is a true except 0 all the positive values as well as the negative values considered as a true values in C language. So, here is the condition true. So, a b c of value we are passing a minus 1 that is 2 we are passing 2 we are passing and here. So, next here it is this function will execute a b c function a b c like uh, so here we are writing a b c of a equals to 2 and here it is the same story same pattern it will execute print f it will print the value 2. So, 2 it will print and next here it is again it will check the condition if 2 condition is a true it will call a b c of 2 minus 1 is a 1. So, again again a b c function execute with a value is 1. So, here inside it is printing that a value 1. So, 1 will print 1 and here it is checking if if here it is we are passing the value here it is if a value is 1 is so we are calling a b c of 1 minus 1 0. So, again here a b c is a value is 0 print f it will print a value 0. So, 0 it will print 0 and next here look at this if 0 the condition has failed. So, it will terminate if block will not execute see here whenever that if condition has failed if 0 if block will be terminated, but here last statement is there. No? So, last statement is what printing a value here whenever it reaches this this one close brace. So, then only the function execution has been completed. So, it should print that a value. So, here print so it is printing that a value 0 it is printing now execution is over. So, it will print 0 again and once this execution is over the control back to here from where it has called here last statement execute. And next here it is the same as the last statement it should print it's print f. So, a value is 1 here. So, 1 will print and once this execution is over the control will come to here come to here to complete this function execution here it is printing the value is 2 and once this execution is over after printing 2 the control will move back to here is a close. After this here it is it, it should print that value print f 
the value is 3. So, it will print that value is 3 value is 3 and once he, this function execution is over the control back to the main function whenever it reaches the last statement of main function here the program execution completed completed this is how recursive function executes in which di direction it will move in the same direction the control come back and where it has started there it should end so this is so what is a recursive function and what is the flow of recursive function so what is the output of this program 3 2 1 0 in a forward direction is printing 3 2 1 0 this printf statement and in a backward direction here it is printing 0 1 2 3 so output is 3 2 1 0 0 1 2 3 is the output of this recursive function program okay so hope you understood so for more videos please subscribe to narish it channel thank you Thank you.